Hey guys, welcome back to the shop. So today, in this part 2, I'm going to show you how I set up an egg blank on my CNC machine. Now here I have four pieces of wood, same thickness as the neck blank. So what I like to do is get a template. Align it roughly on the center of the blank and make a mark at the end of the template. Now as for the body blank, this mark will be the homing of the CNC. I have a different profile on Mach 3 for next and the 0, 0 will be set on that mark. <clears throat> now when I set this neck on the CNC and I align that 0, there, there are <clears throat> 4 pins locating in these areas and that's why these blocks come to do their job. These roughly will be glued at the side like so and then four holes will be milled and those holes are used for easy alignment especially when I have to flip the work for machining the back. I'm going to glue up these pieces, align first the mark, check on the bed where the neck is going to sit and align these blocks with the holes on the bed. So let's do that. Okay, now I have everything marked, so I know where everything has to go. So for now, I just glue these blocks with the neck and then let them to dry. And after that, we'll machine the holes. What I like to do, put some wood glue on the side and in the middle I like to drop a couple of drops of super glue so it doesn't move much when I clamp down the blocks. This one, this should not be particularly strong, it's just for work holding mostly. I want to take this opportunity, guys, to remind you to share, like, subscribe. I really appreciate your support and all the nice comments I'm receiving on these videos. Couple of clamps. Just make sure that they are flat. And for now, that's it. We let them dry, and then we align the neck blank with the center line on the CNC, forming this mark, and then we mill out these alignment holes, and then we can start looking at some tool pads.
Okay guys, let's have a look at the first couple of tool pads for this neck. Now this is my modeled neck and the first couple of tool pads are for the truss rod. So let's remove the fretboard. Okay, for the truss rod channel I'm using a 6mm router cutter and it's a contour operation going down the width, uh, the height of the truss rod. The second operation is for the entry of the truss rod. This is a parallel operation. As you can see here, there is a slight chamfered and I'm still using the 6mm router cutter. Okay guys, the alignment holes are done, unfortunately it didn't went quite as planned, but everything is okay, it is very important to always take care of the work being done, rather than looking at the camera, lesson learned. The truss rod chimney came out really nice, I'm still waiting for the truss rod to arrive, then we can install the truss rod, glue up the fretboard, and then have a look at some tool pads. <laughs> flip the work over and we can start machining the back of the neck. Tuner holes, profile of the neck and contour of the neck and that will be for the next episode. So guys for today that's it. I hope you liked it, enjoyed it and learned something from it and until the next time take care and bye bye.